Hey there, Sharon Hornell from here. Welcome to day 1,882 of What You Have to Now, documenting the journey. Originally, as I transitioned from the brick and mortar corporate world of business to the online world of business, I knew it was going to be different and new, and I would learn a lot. And I have some physical challenges that made it necessary for me to find a way to document what I was doing without it being written down or, or something I'd have to go back and try to read. Um, so I started doing a daily video just talking about what I was doing, what was working, what wasn't. I mean, some of the early ones were so uh, scary. Yes, scary Sherry, my, my family likes to call me sometimes. And it's so true. But today, I created two pieces of content. The first one is an idiom that I share with my Super Size Your Business group. And I take an idiom, and last year I started tying it to the annual challenge, because I've been doing an annual challenge for five years, and I'm like, why am I creating these totally different pieces of content? Why don't I keep them along the same lines? It allows me to do deeper research into the topic that I'm talking about for the annual challenge, as well as have something that I can take and tweak to fit my business clients, my business consulting clients. So, and that is a supersize your business. How do you scale and grow your business group? So I take the idiom and I find an idiom that coincides kind of with the topic that we're talking about for the annual challenge. This year's annual challenge is the Get Your Goals annual challenge. And this month we're focusing on the mental well-being, mental area and aspect of our life, our thinking, our mindset, our our uh, um, anything that has to do with thoughts, beliefs. And today our topic was cultivating optimism. We talked about the benefits of being optimistic and ways to actually become more optimistic. Look on the bright side of things. And our idiom to coincide with that was don't cross the bridge until you come to it. And I shared a story about when I was first starting out in my businesses, I would lay awake at night, doubting and worrying and fretting about things. And lo and behold, I found that sometimes the things I fretted about would come into my life because I thought about them so much, I was actually creating them. And we want to do the opposite of that, right? We want to be focusing on what we want and what we're grateful for and what we've already got so that we get more of the things that we want in our life and in our business and in our health, etc. So we talked about that. So traveling, a uh, lot going on. So I will make sure I create my content first thing in the morning as much as possible and share it. If I can help you in any way, ask. Weird schedule for the next two weeks, but that doesn't mean I'm not here for you and that I can't answer your questions. Always available. You can always, especially when I'm on the road, Voxer. There's a, a, a phone app called Voxer. It's a walkie-talkie app. And the fastest, easiest way to get in touch with me is to go on Voxer on pajamagram at gmail.com, push the button, ask your question, clear and concise and direct. What do you really want to know? Not, don't give me a half an hour of a backstory. Say, this is the situation. This is my question. And the more direct you are, the better I can follow up and answer your question and get you what you need to keep you moving forward as much and as quickly as possible. All right, that's it. Have an awesome day. I'm going to have some coffee, a little bit of a cold working its way into my head, and I'm going to knock that out by getting some fresh air today. Have an awesome day, and I'll, of course, be with you tomorrow.